We need a strategy. Get careless. Lance ablaze! Flaming Lance! Forward! All better now? Indestructible. the effects of the battle just now? Let's go ask around. Natasha! Oleg! Hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them! You kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet! You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... She should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? Th 
kangaroo patting yourself on the back? Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Those kids better not have taken advantage of the chaos to go on an expedition. Hook does always talk about wanting to go on a Rivet Town adventure. Ugh, this could be bad. the surface <laughs> since when did i become miss march and where's hook and the others come on call them over uh, oh, we just started playing uh, can't we finish this round first great idea shame we don't have any well we better go and find them. Uh, actually, I sort of want to go play on the swings for a while. I'll leave the seeking to you guys. on Julian, that traitor! Where's his integrity? What about your integrity, huh? You brought the other kids out here to Rivet Town, didn't you? I... I did not! The moles hold a vote on all our expedition destinations! Hmm... Fine. 
fine, I will. But it better be exciting. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. Let's go and find Julian. Hide and seek update! Astral Express Crew 2, the Mole Zero! Hm. Celebrate while you can! Hide and seek is best of five, you know. Anyway, enough about hide and seek. You came all this way to tell the mole something, so spit it out! <laughs> do you want to do the honors? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh-huh. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Look, Julian. <laughs> hey! Oh, wipe your tears, Julian! You're second in command! No crying in front of grown-ups! <laughs> You three, listen up. Starting from today, you are the mole's number one rivals! Rivals? Why the heck are we rivals now? What are you talking about? Hook and Julian always wanted to defeat the villains on the surface and take back our homeland. But it sounds like you grown-ups just stole their thunders, so... <sighs> you think we're gonna accept defeat just like that? One day, the moles will be the heroes of the underworld and the overworld. Then everyone will sit and... Uh, sit and dumb. Uh, yeah, sit up and take notice. <laughs> uh, I would have figured it out myself. I didn't need you to remind me. So that's why you were so silent. Hmm, if you want to be as awesome as us, you better start training every day. And start listening to Natasha. Training every day? Listening to the old witch? Will that really make us as awesome as you guys? <laughs> In that case, deal! <laughs> Julian, Alina, let's run back to the town. Training starts today. <gasps> Yes, boss! Understood! Uh... Alina... I can, uh, give you a piggyback if you can't make it.
and Mr. Yang put it nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. Getting late. Where to now? Well, are you hurt? Let me take a look. Is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> Sometimes face-to-face -face communication is more meaningful, don't you think? Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Svarog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. <laughs> if you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Outsiders, for friends of Clara. The, 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 thank you for rescuing Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Follow me. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the Varia 
levels. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Svarag said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March! Everyone! Thank you so much! I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. She certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it! Getting late. Where to now? You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <laughs> I smell it too. For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. 
but for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. <sighs> if you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax! In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb aboard? <laughs> Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round! The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... The overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. <laughs> it's Japard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Sasha, is that you? Dad! By the Ember Lord, I thought I was never going to see you again. Praise the preservation, my child! Praise their leniency. And who's this little one? Here, Barry. Say hello to Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa. My grandson? Is this... My grandson? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I wanted to introduce you to my husband, too. But he can't get away from the publisher today. That's okay, my child. We've got all the time in the... Did you say publisher?
Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the restricted zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Huh? That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Excuse me, are you Captain Oleg? What? Well, I didn't think anyone would still remember my name after all this time. Of course we remember! Every young guard knows about your courageous exploits. Oh? Which ones might they be? The time I finished off that rampaging prowler with just three bullets? Or when I defended the outpost from monsters for six days straight without food or water? I haven't heard of either of them, actually, but I'd love to hear all about them. <laughs> sure. In which case, I'll cut my walk short and tell you all the grisly details. ever had that feeling when you stop and look back on the things you've done and wonder at all the obstacles you've overcome the strength you've displayed and then you start to doubt yourself and wonder if you've lost that drive if everything were to happen again would you still stand strong You do? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's good to know someone in this world feels the same way as me. I haven't been able to sit back once over the past ten years. A moment's negligence could have brought wildfire crashing down. And the underworld would have been beyond saving. Staying vigilant wasn't the issue. It was the not knowing whether I'd ever be able to let my guard down again. No matter what anyone says, 
I believe your arrival was the reward for my long vigil. Thank you, Trailblazer. over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm. Looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Hmm. Let's find somewhere to wait. database has information about it. It's called... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't worry about the name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole. And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> we'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please re People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermane guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and Underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the Underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering.
but I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory, and the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival, but it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya! Lady Branya! Long live Bellabog! We're back! March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. Mm, I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. Which means the Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. 
So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos.
Sonia said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can humans live for? Hmm. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Yikes, so serious. I was just curious. Decide. said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Huh. Don Hung, how long can... Here we are! Everwinter Monument! Photo time! Oh, Pela and Hook are here too! Let's make sure we get them in the background. Buyer for it and sell it for big bucks. Uh, how do I explain? This particular piece of Geomero is definitely not for sale. A photo? What's that? Hook wants to see it! I must remind you that taking photos of others without gaining their permission violates Bellabog Public Security Ordinance number. Wait, that's a nice picture! And it's Crystal clear. Wow, photos are awesome. Uh, can Hook have it? <laughs> it 
You like it? It's yours. A farewell gift from us. Okay, where to next? Oh, we haven't seen Sir Vol since we got back. Let's head to the workshop. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three. Oh, come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big sister? Mr. Vall's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. Miss Serval? <laughs> Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me feel old. Photo. <laughs> this feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparog took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? Great! I wish the photographers at my shows had your skills. Huh? Am I really that short? I thought... Don't worry. If you eat like Don Hung, you'll be as tall as him one day. <laughs> uh, I'll let that slip. Here, keep it. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. Th thanks, Miss Serval. Big Sister, March, Dunhong. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svara. That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. <sighs> we can sleep when we're back on the express. Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. Don't you think we should make up for it? Come on. Kimiko and Mr. Yang are grown ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. and have a look.
at the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> the likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. <laughs> You, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. No, no! I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> what fun can you get out of a giant Vanity Fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kaski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience. I dedicate my performance. I wonder, did I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. We should be getting back to the Express. Time to find March and Dunhung. myself. You poor thing. I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go.
are at last. <sighs> it's sad to say goodbye. Hmm. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the Express. Hey! I'm not that heartless, you know. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the Underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I'm just saying we have limited assets and we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Ugh, forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <sighs> Come on, Sila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here, even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Welcome home, you three. Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze back from duty! Mission one accomplished! Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. I'd say it's a solid five stars. Get some rest on the Express. Urelo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. One adventure after another? That's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. That's good to hear. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room, then. <sighs> there I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. While you were away, Welt and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. Ah, home sweet home. Mr. Yang and Himeko must be bored given how long our train had to stay here. Where's our next stop? I can't wait! Shh! Checking Star Rail stability! Pom Pom needs to focus!
The express crew tread upon the trailblaze. We travel between worlds, like a thread weaved into the life stories of others. The universe is vast beyond our imagination. It's a miracle that our paths converge. The fact that we get to know and travel with each other can only be seen as the design of destiny. Thank you for becoming our companion. I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have. Sure. Oftentimes, those who are involved in historic events don't have the opportunity to see things from a wider perspective. I hope as an onlooker, I may provide some help. Klopoth the Preservation is known for their... indifference. Unless you become a zealot like those with the corporation, it's hard to share in the Eon's power. Determined to preserve the world they loved, the Architects held on for hundreds of years. But as the Fragmentum continued to advance, their already wavering faith started to show some cracks. And one particular guardian... Kokolia abandoned the path of preservation altogether. In contrast, you stood your ground and proved your faith in the Amber Lord. Judging by how the battle turned out, Klopoth responded to your wish. Their gaze infused you with the power to wield the weapon of a supreme guardian and to take control of the Colossus. <laughs> Don't mention it. Welt and I may have stayed on the Express this whole time, but we've been watching over you from the moment you set foot on your Relo 6. Friends look after each other. The same goes for us Nameless. Please remember, no matter where you are in the universe, the Express will always be behind you. Is a Stellaron. There's no doubt about that. What I've gathered so far suggests it's likely that the Supreme Guardian was corrupted by the Stellaron at a very young age. All the tragedies that came after can be traced to that point. On the flip side, we can't judge Kokolia too harshly. Imagine if it were you or me who had to sit on the throne and watch the city slowly being brought to its knees. Would we not question what we believed in? Klopoth the preservation determined and judging by how the battle Sure, ask away. We've got plenty of time. Come with me, take the journey. Well, maybe better equipped to answer that. But if you want my two cents, I'd say it's unlikely. I guess it's possible, but it would take a long time. I can tell from your report that the new Supreme Guardian of Bellabog is a smart young lady with leadership qualities. What's more important is that she now understands her people after the journey with you. The firm and honest support she gets from people around her will also prove immensely useful. But fate likes to play tricks on people. 
even if during their lifetime they manage to make Urelo 6 prosper again to a certain degree, they will remain vulnerable and helpless to countless threats lurking in the recesses of the universe. We can only give them our best wishes from afar. It's virtually impossible to destroy a Stellaron. No one, not even Herda, has found a way to break its structure. The best we can do at this stage is to prevent its energy from overflowing. When the Supreme Guardian was defeated, the Stellaron that had been transmitting energy to her exposed its weakness to us for a brief period of time, allowing Weltenai to contain its power. That's about all we can do about a Stellaron. It may be suppressed for now, but it's only a matter of time before it regains power. But this brief window should allow the people on this planet to heal and rebuild. You're most welcome. Have some rest. You've earned it. So, your first trailblazing expedition has concluded. How do you feel? Be it joy or pain, success or regret, it's all part of the journey. Those feelings will accompany you as long as you tread on the trailblaze, and one day you'll grow used to them. It seems you have something on your mind. Let's hear it. I'd like to hear a fresh perspective myself. Uh, <laughs> as talkative as Himiko is, we've pretty much run out of topics. I'm afraid not. As I've mentioned before, the Stellaron's influence on Urelo 6 is more profound than we might think. I don't think Bella Boggs fight against the lingering effects of the Stellaron will end anytime soon. But the balance of power is tilting ever so slightly towards humanity, the crucial factor being the hope you brought about. As intangible as it may sound, don't underestimate hope because the power it inspires has no limit. Like the Stellaron, it's a seed that, that may grow into something much bigger. But, in my opinion, the fruit that hope bears will have a much bigger impact than that of the Stellaron. <laughs> Is that so? Well, I think you did the right thing. It's better to move forward with the burden of knowledge than to tread a perilous road with blind optimism. <laughs> I remember a distant world where the people were faced with unimaginable danger every single day. But they saved their planet time after time with wisdom and courage. This goes to show how much of a difference ordinary people can make. I hope your Relo 6 sees that too. <laughs> I too wish to go with you, but Himako insisted on letting you and your friends rise to the challenge. I'd been observing what's happening on the ground from the Express, and I have to admit that I got sweaty palms a couple times. I was glad to see you three meet friends you could trust and overcome hardships. Well done. Himiko was calm from the very beginning. She kept telling me to trust you youngsters' decisions. <laughs> and she was right. I really need to stop worrying so much. Likewise. Get some sleep. We'll be heading off again soon. Pom-Pom, we're back! Shh! Checking Star Rail stability! Pom-Pom needs to focus! Good to see you too! Spatial readout! Back to the normal bracket! Star Rail stability keeps rising! 56%! 57%? The numbers have stabilized! Dispatch the Express! Oh! Welcome back to the Express! You've accomplished your Trailblaze mission! The Express appreciates your help! Come with me, take
the turning. Thanks to you, the Space Fisher is healing up, and the Star Rail has become stable enough for us to dispatch the Express. As for the coaches, Pom Poms checked every nook and cranny and made sure everything's in good order. Ugh, don't worry about it. Your real 06 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. Plus, it's your first time on a Trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. But don't forget, next time! The destination will be announced at the navigation meeting. For now, get some rest and stay tuned. Oh, Pom Pom almost forgot. There you go. Careful not to spill it. <laughs> Thank you, Conductor. Come with me right away. To avoid encountering the anomalies again, the Express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area. For your safety, please don't leave your seat until the Express has reached cruising speed. Ask the conductor about what happened.
take the journey on. We will see. Come with me, take the journey. Welcome back. Ah, yes. I intend to participate in the efforts as well. Long time no see. How have you been? Indeed, it's about that time. I guess that explains why Pom Pom is in such a hurry. Just in time for the Express's Grand Spring Cleaning! Have you ever heard of Awashtopia? It's a place where space vehicles can stop to rest. There are plenty of them throughout the universe. They're close enough together that you can travel between them without even activating a warp device. That's what Pom Pom used to think, but it's not that simple. Washtopia has only clean the exterior of the train, and they do a great job too. However, the seats, rooms, windows, all the nooks and crannies inside the Express, we have to do those ourselves. Uh, since you only just got back, why not take a little rest and chat with the crew? Once you're ready, come find Pom Pom and we'll prepare to depart. Okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, it's been a while. Did Pom Pom call you back? The Astral Express needs periodic cleaning and maintenance. It's home to the whole crew, after all. Let's take good care of it. The Annual Express Spring Cleaning? I love tidying rooms! I'll clean everywhere as best I can! Hello? Hello? It's about time we hit the road, passengers! Thanks to the three trailblazers, the activity of the Fragmentum has reached the lowest level, and the readings regarding the status of the Star Rail have returned to normal. Pom Pom will dispatch the Express shortly, and we'll be leaving Yurillo 6. Please be seated and say your goodbyes to this planet. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. Huh. Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. <laughs> Five people, three must pay a price. You are one of them. Oh, 
Hold on. I I'll, I'll be there soon. What did I tell you? He's definitely sleeping in. We trailblazers can go days without sleep. But when we do hit the hay, we have to make up for it. Anyway, no point wasting our time in the corridor. The conductor wants us to attend a warp navigation meeting. Same old location, apparently. And we can't be late. Let's head over. Oh, by the way, you drew the short straw. It's your turn to wash the coffee cups this week. Morning. You're very punctual. Oh, I can't remember the last time I got such a polite response. The trailblazing of Eurelo 6 is drawn to a close, and the Astral Express must depart for the next planet. Not telling yet. We'll make an official announcement in the meeting, but I'm keeping you in suspense for now. The meeting will start soon. Hey! Thanks for the invite. I'm so excited! This view isn't something you see every day. So, you guys travel across the galaxy and journey through space like this every day? Oh, that's so cool. No wonder everyone on the Express is so knowledgeable. Huh? <laughs> Not like you to be modest. I've yet to experience it myself, but no one in their right mind would turn down a chance to journey through space. Boarding the Express is just one small step I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to travel the depths of the universe. After all, I did promise Branya and Nat that I'd continue to protect the underworld and help rebuild Bellobog. Still, I bet there's still a chance for kids like Hook and Clara, right? Who knows? Maybe they'll be able to represent Bellobog as it returns to the arms of the universe. Passengers, the work navigation meeting has officially begun. Firstly, Pom Pom wants to congratulate you, the Nameless, for successfully resolving the problems at this stop. The Express is now able to continue along the Star Rail. The three of us actually pulled it off, huh? It's time for your conductor, <clears throat> that's me, to reveal the name of our next stop. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. It's Kafka. I came at a good time. You're all here. Every single one. No need for the mysterious introduction, Stellaron Hunter. <laughs> Himiko, correct? Apologies for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A mean 
maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herda doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you astral expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person, and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of... the Lawfu? The Sienjo Lawfu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Sienjo Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lawfu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Sienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent, nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March. Get done hung. What do you think about all this? I like the way you think. How could the mighty Sienjo Alliance be breached by a Stellaron? Something's not right. The Sienjo Alliance is a small faction, but one that derives its power directly from an Eon. They have immense strength, much more than a train under the protection of the fallen Akivili. Stellarons can lead to the collapse of stars scattered throughout the universe, but the Sienjo has land the hunt on their side. I struggle 
to believe that Stellarons pose a threat in the eyes of the Eons. Either the Stellaron hunters are lying, or there's an even bigger threat lurking on the Sienjo La Fu. <sighs> this is big. I'm coming with you this time. Kafka? Ugh, Pom Pom doesn't like her. She smells of danger. Still, a trailblazer should choose their goal and the road they take to get there themselves. That's the creed of the great Akivili. Turn. 